When you want to factorize x to a power minus 1, you can pull out a factor of x minus 1. And your second factor is all of these other powers of x summed together. If we double the power of x from 7 to 14, we can write this as x squared to the seventh power and do the same factorization with x squared minus 1 pulled out. And in the second factor, we replace all these powers of x's with the same powers of x squareds. And using our power rule, we can write these exponents as a, a product. When we generalize our exponent of x, so we have x to the power of n times k minus 1, we can think of this as x to the power of k raised to the power of n, and then we factor out x to the k minus 1. And this is our second factor. The prime factorization of 2310 is 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11. Let's take a look at one of the factors in our numerator, x to the power of 2310 minus 1. Looking at the denominator, we have x to the power of 105, which we can get by combining some of these factors in the prime factorization of 2310. So let's write this as x to the power of 105 raised to the 22nd power. Now we can pull out the first factor, x to the power of 105 minus 1. And our second factor is x raised to the power of 105 times these other numbers, all the way down to 1. This first factor will cancel with this in our denominator of p of x. So we're left with just this second factor. Let's do the same thing with the second factor into the denominator, x to the 70th power minus 1, because we can also create 70 by multiplying some of these factors together. 2310 is 70 times 33. We pull out x to the 70 minus 1, and this is our second factor, and we have these common factors in the numerator and denominator. The third factor in our denominator can also be created with these prime factors in 2310. 2310 is 42 times 55. We'll cancel out the first factor, and we're just left with the second factor. Our last one is x to the 30 minus 1. 2310 is 30 times 77, and this is our second factor. We've canceled out four of our six factors in the numerator, so we're left with two. Let's rewrite p of x after all of these cancellations. Here are our two remaining factors. Here's our next factor when we do our first cancellation, and here are the rest of our factors. The problem asks for the coefficient of x to the power of 2022. We're going to create this power of x by combining the powers of x's in these six remaining factors. The power of x in our first two factors is too big, so we're going to choose the negative 1 from the first two factors. Multiplying together, that will give us a product of 1. All of the powers of x in the first factor are multiples of 105, so we're going to build up to 2022 using some number of 105s. When we multiply by the second factor, we're going to pick one of these powers of x that are all multiples of 70. To that, we'll add some power of x. That's a multiple of 42. And then finally, we'll multiply by some power of x to the 30. So we'll be adding a multiple of 30. So for example, a is going to be the multiple of 105 from 0 to 21, and so on for our multiples of 70, 42, and 30, where a, b, c, and d are integers. We see that all of the terms in this equation, except for the first term, are even. We have a is 0 in mod 2, so we can write a as a product of 2. Let's try mod 3, because we see that 105, 42, 30, and 2022 are all 0 in mod 3. 70 is 1 in mod 3, so we have b is 0 in mod 3, and b is a multiple of 3. We'll call it 3y. We'll substitute into our other equation, and then we'll divide by 6. We have some multiples of 5 here in this equation, so let's take this equation mod 5. 7 is 2 more than a multiple of 5, and so is 337. So c is equivalent to 1, and we can replace c with 5 times z plus 1. We'll subtract 7 and divide by 5. We have a bunch of multiples of 7 here, so we'll do mod 7. 66 is 3 more than a multiple of 7, so d is equivalent to 3. So we can write d as 3 more than an integer multiple of 7 and substitute. We'll subtract this 3 and divide by 7. 
Now we have the sum of four integers is equal to nine. We can use stars and bars to solve this. We have nine integers divided among four variables that are non-negative. That requires three dividing bars. This is the same as counting the number of ways of arranging our nine integers and our three dividers for a total of 12 objects and choosing three of them to be our bars. That's 12 choose three, which gives us 220 solutions. If you'd like me to solve any other AMC or Amy problems, please leave them in the comments.